Good morning, everyone. Jerry with the Presidency's Podcast here. It is day 10 of the WFAE Queen City PodQuest. And I thought for today's update, you know, before I give you an update, I actually wanted to respond because I had a question about presidential history. Um, as that's kind of the whole point of all this, I thought I would share my answer with everybody. So the question was, on day eight, I posted something about Martin Van Buren not necessarily being a good president. And so a friend asked, well, what made him not be a good president? So first of all, Martin Van Buren is not a household name. I will go ahead and admit that. Um, Martin Van Buren was the eighth president of the United States. He took office in 1837 and left in 1841 after he was defeated by my favorite lesser known president, William Henry Harrison. So Martin Van Buren was basically the chosen successor to Andrew Jackson. He had endeared himself to Jackson despite both of them coming from somewhat different backgrounds and Van Buren was seen as the person who was going to ensure the Jacksonian legacy continued. Well the problem with that is that the country shortly after Martin Van Buren became president went into a financial panic. Uh, basically a, a large depression, people were losing their jobs, it was one of the worst economic crises in American history to that point or really period. So part of what made Van Buren a bad president is that he was so focused on adhering to the Jackson legacy that he didn't feel empowered enough to make changes that would actually address the problems, the economic issues. So the panic continued. The economic downturn continued. People suffered around the nation. Meanwhile, Van Buren himself was not seen as being a strong leader. You know, here you had this guy who really couldn't make up his mind about what to do. When he finally did, he proposed uh, what's called the independent treasury system, which would basically kind of undo a bit of what Jackson had done in abolishing the Bank of the United States. Well, <clears throat> the Jacksonian Democrats didn't like this. Van Buren di really didn't have a great power base on his own, and it took him a long time to sell the independent treasury system. He finally was able to pass it, finally able to get it through Congress at the end of his presidency. But then it was shortly after undone when the Whigs came to power. Overall, Van Buren just could not establish himself as an independent president. He relied too much on the goodwill from the Jacksonian Democrats. And then when he finally was willing to say, okay, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to do what needs to be done. By that point, it was too late to establish himself and his own presidency. So what does Van Buren have to share with modern day politicians and um, modern day uh, citizens? Well, I would say that the lesson of that we can take from Van Buren is that somebody can be a great politician and that's the thing, Van Buren behind the scenes was excellent. It's, you know, he is credited with building not only the Democratic Party, which is the same Democratic Party that exists today, but also what we think of as a party system, what we think of as a political party. That came from Van Buren. So he was a great politician, but that didn't necessarily make him a great leader. He could do the behind the scenes, back deals, organizing, but when it came time to lead to offer a vision, he just couldn't do that. So, as I said, we are in day 10 of WFE's Queen City PodQuest. Um, we are still hanging in there. Um, I'm hoping that we will break the 1,000 vote mark today. Uh, we are, I think that when I last looked, we were at 925 which is great and thanks to all of you for your support thanks to all of you for your votes um keep voting keep sharing information and if you have a question about presidential history why not ask me 
you know that's again that's the whole point of this that's the whole point of 45 and counting is to try and share information that can help to make all of you better informed so if you have a question leave it in the comments send me a private message however you want to reach out to me please feel free um, I hope everybody has a great day I hope that's been a little illuminating a little bit of history for your to get your morning started um, thanks so much everyone vote early vote often vote 45 and counting thanks so much